वेलकम लर्नर इन माई कोर्स ऑफ वेब टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम डॉक्टर आशुतोष कुमार भट्ट एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड आई टी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज वेब स्टैंडर्ड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एस टी एम एल एक्स एम एल एंड एक्स एस टी एम एल ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एंड वेब स्टैंडर्ड हिस्ट्री ऑफ मार्कअप लैंग्वेज सो नाउ आई विल डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम इन एस टी एम एल एक्स एम एल इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एक्स एम एल एज वेल एज एक्स एस टी एम एल सो द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेक्चर क्रिएटिंग एंड एग्जीक्यूटिंग एस टी एम एल एक्स एम एल एंड एक्स एस टी एम एल फाइव एंड एक्स एम एल ट्री स्ट्रक्चर नाउ क्रिएटिंग एस टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट सो वेन वी हैव टू क्रिएट एनी एस टी एम एल डॉक्यूमेंट वी हैव टू ओपन नोट and we have to type required code and save the file with the extension .html or stm so uh, these are the different notepad we can choose any notepad of of any operating system and accordingly we have to type the html code here and then suppose this is the code and we have to type this code on notepad and after that we will execute it so you can see this example where the html file is divided into two part so basically we use the tags html or and slash html or inside html and slash html we have head portion we have body portion in head portion we have the heading and in the body portion we have two headings as well as one paragraph in head portion we will have title so transcripts transcription studio it will be displayed on the title area so see the html html the file of html always be the name as a index.html so the home page means home page of any website always be the same name named as index.html and the file will be encapsulated between html and slash html so this is hypertext markup language now these are the two tag html and slash html so first tag is html and last tag is slash html now the header information head information mean the first part of the file is the head head portion so this is head area html slash in between html and slash html we have head area title that is transcription studio so it this title will be displayed over the uh, title area so you can see here the title area in the top uh, line you can see the different titles so accordingly these title will be displayed as we mentioned on the title tag now uh, the page title is to be displayed on title area so this is the uh, this is the snapshot of any website now creating tags in html so the another part of the html file that is body part see here so the first part is the head part and the second part is the body part we can uh, directly start with the body part also uh, head part we can skip this head part suppose we don't have to write any heading on title bar then we will uh, remove this portion head area we will directly start by the body area so uh, this is optional and see the body and slash body so all the tags that appear on the page must be encapsulated within the body tag so this is very important area body area and we will write the uh, all the information in the body area and finally in the bottom line you can see this is the example of comment so suppose we have to write any comment then we will use less than exclamation mark and then double dash and finally double dash and greater than sign so in between these this line we can write multiple uh, multiple command line uh, on our web page and this this line suppose uh, we will write this this tag then the browser will not read these lines because these are the command line it shows that these are the command line now we have some more tags formatting tags like small it will display the smaller tags sub it will display the subscript tags so, sup this will display the superscript tags strong 
means make the tax important tax and em and it it will dis, it will make the tax as a emphasized tax we have six different headings you can see here h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 h6 the size of h1 is larger than size of h2 so accordingly the size will be reduced so these are the six heading comments we can also use effect tag bold and italic b for bold and i for italic so by using this bold tag we can bold b and then we will write bold or we will write any text and slash b in between that uh, whatever we will write it will be displayed in bold face and italic suppose we are writing any sentence Ital uh, we, we have to display any sentence as a italic so we will encapsulate it between i and slash i now see some container and empty element html with html we will have to write slash html with title we may, must write slash title b we, we must write slash b so these are the tag container element we call it container element they have starting as well as closing tag but some elements are empty element like b are line break h are horizontal break and img for displaying image so with these tag with these tag we don't have to write closing tag so they are only starting tag so we have to understand the difference between these two now font we can we can change the font we can set the font of any text font size plus 3 you can see here in the first paragraph to change the text size font size plus 3 means uh, hello will be displayed plus 3 means uh, the default size plus 3 size we will increase so accordingly it will increase the size uh, of the default hello with uh, plus 3 uh, in the second paragraph in second bullet you can see change the text color so we can change the color of any text so as in this second bullet we have mentioned font color equals to red so the hello will be displayed on red color and third one using both we can write we can use here size as well as color so both option both attribute we can apply in same line so font size plus 3 the adjacent side will be increased by 3 and color will be red so the hello will be displayed on uh, red color as well as uh, the default size will be increased by 3 so this is this is the font uh, applying font and you can also see this program also html between html and slash html we have only body part we have not used here head part h1 in heading first heading we have style that is font family vardana is a font family and uh, in this font family we will display the text and in second para paragraph for paragraph p style font family equals to courier and Uttarakhand Open University will be displayed with this font family. So we can change the font family also. We can apply Arial, Arial Narrow, Arial Black, Vardana, Courier. So we have different different font family. So we can apply any font family, any style of font family. So this is the uh, statement. These are the statement for applying this. Text. Text will be uh, centered also. So we have this center tag. Between center tag, we will write the text and it will be displayed on the center of the line. And P is used for the paragraph, but we can align the paragraph. We can align left, align right or align center. So we have different three alignment we can apply with the paragraph. So this is finally uh, the complete program. And uh, text example, we can display big text. We can display small tag by using different heading body color we can also change suppose we have uh, a page so its body color we can change suppose we have written here bg color yellow the page will be displayed in the yellow color so this is bg color is a attribute and body is a tag so uh, this uh, body and closing tag also be used for the body tag now see uh, the list we can also display the items elements in the list wise so ul for the unordered list like you can see the output 
coffee and milk will be displayed on unordered list so there are two line ul and slash ul we have line one coffee line two milk and these will be displayed unordered list and other one is the ordered list under ordered list we have uh, the output coffee and milk will be displayed in one and two so these two lines are uh, by ordered list it will be displayed by the ordered list one and two will be displayed so we can order we can change the order also we can use here a b c d you can, we can use roman numbers also so image format we can use different image format on html like gif like jpeg bmp so different image format we can use with the uh, html file uh, you can see this this uh, statement image src equals to image dot gif so uh, gif image can, will be displayed so img src image source image dot gif and we can use here we can write here uh, the um, uh, path of the image where image is stored and image we can also apply these attribute height and width so this height and width will display uh, the size of image also so this is for image and uh, this is the submission button uh, this is the form and form name equals to input action html form action dot asp so we are opening this asp file so we have one text box input type text box name is user and input type button that is submit button and as we will click on this submit button so it will the action will be html form action dot asp so it will open the asp file so uh, in uh, later lectures we will um, explain it in detail so this is also be in html this is also part of html so uh, uh, we can also display form in html so uh, this is the initial lecture but uh, in detail we will uh, we will explain about the form and different different type of the some buttons also so there are some commonly used character entities like less than greater than ampersand double quotes and copyright hr so this uh, uh, this this non breaking space we will use this nbsp ampersand nbsp for less than we we use in html ampersand lt for greater than ampersand gt for ampersand we have this ampersand amp and for quotation double quotes ampersand q u o t and copyright we have this symbol copyright so for this symbol we have ampersand copy and for horizontal display the horizontal rule this is hr for a horizontal rule and html5 is advanced of html4 so uh, in 2014 it is started and it is finally launched it is finally released and we have many many advanced command in html file like uh, uh, in brief i am showing someone some uh, some 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 properties and some features of this html5 like like we can use placeholder tags and like uh, we can use specific text input like uh, text box for email text box for url text box for numbers text box for search so we have different text boxes for different different text box uh, purpose and we can use slider bar which is not available in html4 but in html5 it is available data picker we have and uh, user agent validation this is also be in uh, html5 and you can see here this uh, this is very important in html5 we can directly include video in html5 uh, while in html4 we can only include image so video src movie dot ogg width height is given the specification of the video uh, window is also here and the text caption is also here your browser does not support the video text suppose it is not supporting uh, it will display the, this message so video tag in html5 and also audio tag is in html5 you can see here audio src song dot ogg controls all the uh, audio controls will be displayed on our screen so audio and slash audio closing tag all audio is also given here so this is also in html5 these are the benefit of html5 which is advanced than html4 we we will we can use this separate email email text box input type email name user email 
so previously it was not in html4 we have plain text box so we have to write email on that on the text box suppose we write any wrong email uh, then it will not validate but in this case it will validate the email whatever we are writing it will automatically validate it will not accept the uh, input value of this email uh, text box so finally i am coming on this xml the second part of our this lecture so xml is the extensive extensive markup language which is designed to transport data and not display the data it is transporting it is for transporting data not displaying the data tags are not predefined like in html we have predefined tags like bold italic so these value is predefined this value is already defined so but in xml it is not defined user can define the tags uh, accordingly it is used to create new language like xhtml wsdl wap and simplifies data sharing and data transport xml document form a tree structure so xml is very important for transportation of the data transporting data from one uh, system to another system so this is X, xml is very important uh, you can see this simple uh, sample program of xml so here here we have three uh, this this table you can see title year uh, and uh, january are three fields so title uh, will be here the first is title so movie title it means movie title movie uh, year of uh, launch and uh, which category it comes to, that is generation january so these are the three fields so accordingly the movie title movie fields we have uh, different tags here but not in html html we have predefined tags we cannot use any new tag but in xml we can define tag according to our table suppose table is employee then accordingly the tag will be employee id employee name and employee uh, salary but here this is the related to movie so accordingly we have three different tags so uh, for different line we have different tags title slash title year and slash year january it slash january so this is comes under collection tag and this collection tag under xml tag so in detail we will uh, discuss about this xml when we will discuss about the xml or we will explain or we will uh, tease this xml lecture so in detail we will uh, explain you but today uh, for introduction i am explaining you this xml is used for the transmitting data from one system to another system and xhtml finally uh, in the last xhtml uh, extensible hypertext markup language is more standardized version of the html it is more standardized version of html you have to understand this fact it is standard markup language for designing web application this combines the feature of html and xml so you know the difference between html and xml xml basically for transporting the data from one system to another system one node to another node for transporting data you can see here the first line designed to transport data not to display data so this is the main purpose of xml and uh, while xhtml is a combination of html and xml in this final slide you can see xml description describes data while html used to display data xml describes the data while html is used to display the data therefore their their combination x html is much more powerful markup language than html uh, this is the introduction of this x html x html was developed to make html more extensible and flexible to work with other data formats such as xml so uh, uh, finally the learning outcome of this second lecture of uh, uh, this uh, first topic xml tree structure uh, learn, uh, and creating executing html xml xhtml program and in next lecture we will discuss about the wml wireless markup language cascading style sheet and other topic related to this thank you